Hello everybody and welcome back to another Walking Dead video. Today we'll be doing another video on The Walking Dead Season 11 and talking about all the plot holes that the season finale of this show doesn't answer. In this video I'm going to be mostly sticking to the plot holes from Season 11, the things that they bring up and then just kind of vanish from that particular season because if we do all the plot holes on The Walking Dead throughout its entire lifetime we'll be here all day because there's things like what happened to Heath, what happened to Randall's group in season two? What about Sydney? She also disappeared. So has something happened to her? There's lots of things that just never get answered and get forgotten about. And you could probably find answers to many of these plot holes either in the spin-offs or just online because many of them have been answered by the showrunners as time's gone by when they're like, oh yeah, for example, they, we know what happened to Heath. He was taken by the CRM because Angela Kang told us. So let's focus on the plot holes from this season. And there are many. So the first biggest plot hole is what happened to Virgil. The last time we saw Virgil on The Walking Dead, season 11, was in season 11, episode 9. And he was just kind of forgotten about once our group time jumped and entered the Commonwealth. And we get no answer. Virgil was on the point of death. And if he was going to die... We would have seen him die in maybe episode 9, 8 or 6, but we didn't. And I even made a video about this. If you look in the top right, there's a link to it, where I think that Virgil basically just moved to the com off and that was it. And the com a big place. We would naturally lose track of some people. The next big thing that was a massive plot hole is the fate of Oceanside and all the characters like Rachel at Oceanside. We never find out if they survived or not and if Oceanside was ever rebuilt. The only thing we know about Oceanside is the little information we get given from Luke and Joel's when they return. And it's just that the common soldiers start to attack Oceanside and Rachel was trying to fight back. We never find out, does Oceanside survive this fight? What happened to Rachel? We never find out. All of these answers just kind of get left. And it doesn't help that Luke and Joel's both die before we can learn more about Oceanside. Because if one of them survived, we definitely would have seen them repair an Oceanside. So, because everyone connected to Oceanside died, we don't know anything about Oceanside. But personally, I believe Oceanside was destroyed by Lance and Rachel and all the people that didn't escape were just killed. And that is the simple answer. While we never saw Oceanside again, while I was never picked up, Oceanside died, but they decided to just not tell us that for some reason and they did that a lot in season 11 like apparently Gabriel and Rosita split up in part A and apparently no one noticed that so Angela Kang had to tell us during about episode like 22 something like that where she's like oh Gabriel and Rosita are separated so it could be something like that Oceanside was just destroyed and we were never told about it some more quick plot holes is that where did the variant walkers come from and why have we not seen them until this point in time? It's very weird that these walkers from season 1 and 2 suddenly appear again and characters like Daryl who's faced the season 1 and 2 walkers doesn't seem to remember facing them before. My answer for the variant walkers is that maybe these walkers are regional. That's the reason we never see them because where our group hangs out most of the time you get normally the slow uh, stummer walkers and maybe the variant walkers are regional to urban areas like Atlanta. That's why we saw them in Atlanta because a walker would need to be smarter to get to their prey in a city to open doors, get through windows, but in the woods, which is where most of our gang chills for most of the show, they don't need to be smart because there's no doors to open, no windows. They just got to walk in a straight line because their prey can't really hide behind walls or anything like that that often. So I think it's definitely regional that smokers are smarter depending on their environment. And we definitely had a more urban season. So more urban type walkers, smart walkers. We know we get runners in Europe. So maybe urban walkers are smarter. We also have plot holes like what is B-17? All we can do is speculate that it is some form of lockdown. I made a video about this that is some form of lockdown. Some people are speculating where is the CRM? Maybe it's connected to the CRM. But another plot hole is that where is the CRM? We know from an external thing, not part of the show, but Gimple mentions how the CRM and the Commonwealth have some sort of connection. But we don't see anything like that. 
we don't see how they're connected at all so that's something that was still unanswered by the series finale personally i think the crm does know of the commonwealth and when gimple was talking about how they know they just know each other they're not connected there's no arrangements it's not like how the crm had with portland and those other cities the civic republic just knows the existence of the commonwealth and ohio and that is it it's something simple like that there's no deals and i definitely think it's not connected to lance's shady deals some more small ones is that what happened to pamela's other son we get a quick comment in sebastian's last episode with him alive we're not Cal walker sebastian that he's the only son that's still around or something like that so pamela had two sons and we know that sebastian's young one because of the way he talks about his other brother but what happened to him i believe this is something that happened during the commonwealth and not before or during the fall this is something that happened later on they survived and he died in some sort of accident we also know is that Lance and Pamela has some sort of relationship, but it's never answered what type. I believe maybe the reason why they aren't too fond of each other anymore or Pamela ain't too fond of Lance anymore is because Lance is responsible for the death of her oldest son. And it would make sense because I definitely get a vibe that they used to be lovers, but Pamela's not liking Lance anymore, but Lance is still in love with Pamela. I think it is that Lance somehow got her son killed. Some big ones is, what is Destination 2? We never find out. We never see where that train is going. This could be connected to the CRM, or this could be just another Commonwealth location. We'd never find out. And with us knowing that there's some sort of connection to the CRM, maybe Destination 2 is connected to the CRM in some way. However, we don't get a full answer to this it is just dropped they mentioned destination 2 and it is just dropped another unanswered thing is that what is lance's secret deals i have made a video about this also and i speculated that i definitely think that it was just he had lots of deals with small communities but could it be crm related we never really got any answer to that and with lance saying if i die some massive consequences for the commonwealth would happen it foreshadowed nothing because it never got picked up after that one comment in episode 18 it was just very much dropped and when we had that time jump and carol was in charge of lance's job she never mentioned what she had to deal with with the fallout of lance's death now here are a couple of the final episode and the ending of the walking dead the first one is what happened to annie and negan we never saw their fate we know they decided not to live at hilltop where maggie said you can come join us they decided not and against that so where did they go we know negan's got a spin-off and they're gonna be in new jersey slash new york but where's annie we get a very up in the air fate for these two characters did they move really far away are they still in the area we do not know how their story ended for the walking dead personally i believe negan and annie moved east to near new jersey and new york and that's why they're there in the spin-off that's why negan's there at least and i believe those characters to what's left of their people and went that way to start a new life because they couldn't deal with putting maggie through the stress of seeing glenn die every time he looks at negan so that's what i think happened but the biggest one is why did the crm want rick this is definitely here to set up their spin-off but why and in my video i said I believe it's something to do with Rick being special. And that is definitely, I think, the answer. Rick has a boring job at the CRM. So he's not important. But something about him could be. And I definitely believe Rick has something special about his immunity. Or something similar to that. So these are all the big unanswered questions and plots that the season finale leaves us with. And please tell me down below what your thoughts and opinions are. And what your answers for these questions would be be but if you want my answers in more depth because i did go through all my answers here but if you want to know some of them in more depth and why i think the way i think look on the screen if you want to know what i think happened to virgil look on the top left and why the crm want rick so badly look at the bottom for my ending explained video and if you want to know some answers for what are lance's secret deals how are the crm connected and what is b17 look in the top right but this is it for me today so 
make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to help out the channel to keep up to date of all things Walking Dead, two videos a week, every week. But this is it for me today, so goodbye, peace out, talk to you later.